Okay, uh, let's look at this one. So we're still just kind of focusing on what's the energy in the fluid of the inlet, what's the energy in the fluid of the outlet. So we kind of want to know, hey, what are the properties of the inlet? Uh, so it says refrigerant 134A enters the compressor of a refrigeration system, at, enters as a saturated vapor at 0.14 MPa. So it's a saturated vapor, 0.14 MPa. And don't forget, it is a refrigerant. Uh, so I would go to the property tables, right? I would go to the property tables. I'm not going to show that. I feel like we've done that a ton. And hopefully you understand that. And you could take this and you would get, uh, you could get any value that you want to. Maybe you want the, the specific volume. Uh, but uh, almost every time where we are looking at the H. So let's, let's almost always get the H from those property tables. Uh, see if you've got 239.19 kilojoules per kilogram. All right, and it leaves as a superheated vapor, 0.8 MPa, 60 degrees C. So what would the, so let's 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 go back and look at this one. This one would have been table. Let's see, it's refrigerant. Uh, so either 11, 12, 13. This would be table A12, right? This would be table <laughs> A13. Uh, see if we would get uh, an H of 296.82 kilojoules per kilogram. Kilojoules per kilogram. Uh, determine the rates of energy transfers by mass into and out of the compressor. Assume kinetic and potential energies to be negligible. Uh, and this right here is the M dot. It doesn't explicitly state that, but that there it is not collecting mass. That's the mass going in and the mass going out. One inlet, so m dot going in equals m dot going out equals 0.06 kilograms per second. So what is the energy transfer by mass into, what's the energy in the inlet? Uh, energy of the inlet would be m dot n times theta n, and this theta would be h and v squared over 2 and gz, but we neglect it, and especially if they don't tell us the velocity going in. In general, if they don't tell us the velocity going in, then let's neglect it. But if they tell it to us, we'll do the v squared over 2. But if not, we're really just doing uh, m dot times h. So here we go. Uh, the m dot, 0 0.06 kilograms per second. The h, 239.19 kilojoules per kilogram. So yeah, this would be kilojoules per second, which is a kilowatt, 14.34 kilowatt. So that is the rate of energy, right? Energy would just be kilojoules. The rate would be kilojoules per second, which would be kilowatts. This is at the inlet. All right. The rate going out of the outlet, 0 0.06 kilograms per second times 296.82 kilojoules per kilogram, 17.81 um, kilowatts at the outlet okay all right so so we we're not looking at this just yet but those why aren't they equal well because maybe there's some q maybe there's some work maybe there are some other things in here that's what we're going to look at in the next section is taking those and putting those into our conservation of energy um equals change in E, right? So this might be the E of the outlet, negative 17.81. This might be the inlet, 14.34. Uh, and then we might have some other things going on right here. All right, that is something to look forward to. Next section.